a nice one. Small mouth. Third one. I mean, water definitely come down. That's a Ooh. nice spot right there. Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing. Today I'm here on the Monster Bass channel to talk to you guys about fish identification. The difference between a large mouth, a small mouth, and a spotted bass. So, here we go. All right guys, so like I said, my name is John from Mongo Fishing and we're gonna talk about fish identification. If you are new to the Monster Bass channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right down there along with the bell notification button so you get notified every single time Monster Bass comes out with another video. My channel will be linked down in the description. Uh, it'd be pretty cool if you guys came over and checked my channel out also. My channel, uh, I do, you know, like honest tournament footage. Um, if I do well, post a video. If I suck, I still post a video. Unboxings, whatever, but uh, you guys are here for the Monster Bass channel, so let's get into this. All right, so a buddy and I, he and I are out here fishing today, and we have all three major species of bass for, for North America. We have a largemouth, a smallmouth, and a spot. Um, Arkansas doesn't have Guadalupe bass, so that's not an issue. We do have mean mouth bass, but those are so rare that it's really not an issue for most people anyway. If you don't know what a mean mouth is, it's a hybrid between a spot and a smallie. Uh, we don't have shoal bass either, so that's not an that's not an issue either. Um, again, that's a that's a, it's an, a thing that isn't in most places. So uh, let's get into it. First off, we're going to start with the smallmouth. All right, on this particular lake, all bass have to be 12 inches, so we have a little 13 inch smallie right here. Okay, so key ID features. You see, he's kind of um, I don't know. He got these lateral tiger stripes, if you will. His jawline does not extend past the rear portion of his eye, and he has kind of a bronze appearance. Now, when I bring out the spotted bass, you're going to see some similarities between the spot and the smallie. All right, spotted bass. He has a, a lateral line just like the largemouth does, right here, this line right there. He also has, if you look at his mouth, same thing, the jaw does not extend past the rear of his eye. Up here on his dorsal fin, this is the big difference between smallmouth and largemouth, one of the main differences, is this dorsal fin, the rear of the dorsal fin right there, does not dip all the way down, okay? That's a key ID feature. He has these little stripes right here, right here across the belly. Those are called ventrolateral stripes. A largemouth does not have that. And the final little key ID feature is on his tongue, he has a tooth patch. If you rub your finger across his tongue, you will feel a tooth patch. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but I'll try to show that anyway. It's a little tiny tooth patch. Anyway, that is a spotted bass. Swim away. And lastly, the largemouth. Okay, so key ID on this is where his mouth is. If you see the mouth is shut, it extends well past the rear of his eye. If we go up here to the dorsal fin, see how much shallower that is, how much shorter that fin is compared to where it was on the spotted bass. He doesn't have these ventral lateral lines right here, just a main lateral line right there. And if you were to rub your finger on his tongue, he does not have a tooth patch. That is a large mouth. And that's that guys. Um, you know, this is a, a big deal because different lakes may have different size requirements. Uh, this lake that we're on right here, it's 12 inches across the board, no big deal. But a year ago, this lake had a 15 inch largemouth minimum and a 12 inch spotted bass minimum. And if you got those two confused, get yourself in a lot of trouble with Johnny Lawman and or tournament director if you were in a tournament. Feel free to drop any questions down below, guys. Myself or one of the other Monster Bass staff members will gladly answer them. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, again, please hit the subscribe button right down there, along with the bell notification button so you get notified every single time Monster Bass comes out with another video. 
Again, my channel, Mongo Fishing, will be linked down in the description. I'd dig it if you came over and checked me out too. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, get out on the water, be safe, go stick some lips, and catch a monster bass.